Mark here from newhometricks.com and today I want to talk a little bit about controlling your lighting through Siri uh, on an iPhone in my case. Now, as you saw on the previous video, uh, if you've got a HomeKit enabled system and the latest generation of Philips Hue is, then you can use the Home app on an iPhone or an iPad to control your lighting. Now, if you can do it through the Apple Home app, that means that you can also do it through Siri because they're essentially using the same system behind the scenes. So you can use a few basic commands to turn the lights on or off. Now, I've not got all of the lights in shot here uh, on this video, but you can certainly see the um, table lamp behind me. So for example, turn the living room table lamp on. Okay, the table living room is on. So you can see that straight away that just turns the light on. Turn the living room table lamp off. Okay, the table living room is off. So pretty straightforward. So you can just easily turn the lights on or off and you can control brightness. Set the living room table lamp to 50%. Okay, I've set the table living room to 50%. And I'm not sure how well you can see that uh, on the video here, but that's turned the light on at half brightness. Um, you can also do a few other things. If I turn that light off, uh, for example, turn the living room lamp off. Okay, the lights are off. So that's turn the lights off. I can turn all lights in the living room on. Turn the living room lights on. Okay, the lights are on. So that's turned all of the lights in the living room on, including this tower lamp beside me. Um, the ceiling lamp, there's a, a floor standing lamp in the corner, all the lights in this room are now on. And I can do the same thing with brightness as well. Set the living room lights to 50%. Okay, I've set all of the living room lights to 50%. So that's dimmed everything down to half brightness. I can also use scenes. Activate the cosy scene. Cosy, I'm on it. So that's changed the colour of the lights in this room to a warmer white colour. Um, but one thing that we won't have here, and this was the same that we encountered when we were using the Apple Home app, is that you can activate scenes that you've defined inside the Apple Home system, but scenes from inside Philips Hue in the native app can't be activated. So for example, if I try and activate one of the built-in scenes from Philips Hue, Activate the Savannah Sunset scene. Hmm, I don't know that one. So it's coming up and telling me that it doesn't know that scene. It, it did correctly interpret what I was saying to it, so it's come up and said, yeah, activate the Savannah Sunset scene. But because that scene isn't, de isn't defined inside the Apple Home system, it doesn't know what I'm asking it to do. And that's essentially because a HomeKit-enabled bridge, such as the one that we have with Philips Hue, well, HomeKit is basically an extra chip that the manufacturer has to put into the device in order to allow Apple HomeKit to function. And what that basically means is that the bridge, the controller, it's basically two controllers in one. You've got the built-in native functionality provided by Philips Hue, and then you've got an additional controller that's kind of built in there that can push its own commands into the device that's controlled only by other Apple devices. But that means that there's not necessarily a match between the scenes and features that you have defined in the native app and what you have defined in the Apple Home app. So the Philips Hue app does its best to try and keep things in sync. So if it spots that you've added extra lights or you've changed the name of them uh, inside your Philips Hue software, it will pop up with an alert and sort of tell you that you actually need to resync that with the um, Apple HomeKit system. So there's a certain amount of manual intervention involved. Now, of course, if you decide that you're going to do everything in your home using the Apple HomeKit system and the Home app and Siri, and you're completely going all in with using Apple's method to control everything, then you may decide to kind of abandon some of the native functionalities and the native apps and just use the Apple way of doing things. But I think it's unlikely that I would want to do that, speaking personally, because there's so much native functionality built into Philips Hue, for example, that you just don't have exposed in the Apple Home apps. And all of the stuff that you get through Hue Labs, some of the additional control that you have, 
there's just too many features that you would miss if you kind of tried to do everything purely in the Apple side of the system. So whilst it's nice to be able to control things with your voice, and it's also nice through the HomeKit integration to be able to swipe up from the bottom of the screen, bring up the control center and just quickly turn certain lights on or off without having to go right the way into the full app. I don't see myself using Siri or the Home app as a way of controlling my lighting as kind of my main way of doing that. I don't see myself doing that. It'll be interesting to see how things might be different, say using Cortana in Windows with the Hutro app that we saw in a previous video, um, because that's interrogating the Hue bridge and exposing the, the native scenes and the native um, setup that you've got defined in there, whereas Siri it's going via the HomeKit chip, which is completely different. Um, it'll also be interesting when we get hold of a, a Home Assistant, I think maybe it'll be uh, an Amazon Echo, maybe a Google Home. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how things work there. Um, but certainly with Siri, you can do some things, but I'm not quite convinced that I would yet say that it's the sort of thing that you would use full time as your primary way of controlling lighting, or at least that's not how I feel that I'm going to be using it. Um, have written up as usual, a uh, companion blog post to explain a little bit more. So if you have a look in the description, you'll see the link to that or check out the website, newhometricks.com. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.